All right, everybody, welcome back to our three and one birthday special for Scott Weinger, Jody Benson, and Henry Winkler, in which we're going to play some CD ROM games on a virtual PC, starting with the 1995 PC version of Jeopardy. All right. Let's go ahead and kill the music, please. Thank you. Rid of that. Loading Jeopardy. All right. We haven't played this game in a while, so let's see how we do, shall we? And that's the late, great Alex Trebek, who we all miss to this date very much. You know what? I'll be him. I'm just going to use my name. I'm going to use the enter key to buzz in. Yes, please. Richard Marston. Yep, yeah, he's going to be a beanie. And Willa Bernstein will be a beanie. Go. Okay. Are we ready to play? Let's do it. The South, where I live, movie trivia, the environment, 1992, chocolate, mm, yummy, and finally, G whiz, notice the letter G in quotation marks. Each correct response will begin with that letter of the alphabet in that category, but I'm going to start with chocolate for 100. Answer. It's the only candy with duds in its name. What are milk duds? Chocolate for 200. This vegetable fat used in soap and cosmetics is a byproduct of the chocolate industry. Vegetable fat. Okay, I'm going to say what is... What is... Peanut oil? No. Potassium? That's an element. Cocoa butter? Okay. It's all good, it's all good. The South 400... In 1926, the Rockefellers began restoring the historic area of this colonial capital of Virginia. What is Williamsburg? Yay. The South 100. Natchez in this state is known for its lovely antebellum mansions. Many of them are open to tourists. What is Mississippi? The South 200. The Shag, not the Charleston, is South Carolina State one of these. What is a dance? The South 300. The annual Genie Festival in White Springs, Florida, honors this composer who dreamed of Genie. Ooh. Cole Porter? I don't think so. Stephen Foster? Okay. This Tennessee city's architecture helped it earn helped earn it the nickname the Athens of the South. I'm gonna say what is Memphis? Not Memphis. Could have I just said that. Just said Memphis. Could it be Nashville? My second guess was right. Okay. Movie trivia 100. 
Let's try that category. Irish actress Geraldine Fitzgerald played the woman who married Heathcliff in this 1939 classic. What is Wuthering Heights? Movie Trivia 200. Annette Benning came on like gangbusters when she wore a gown from this gangster film to the 1990 Oscars. Um, what is... Wore a gown from this gangster film to the 19... What is... Bonnie and Clyde? Oh, no. Oh, Bugsy. Of bubblegum, flubber, or blubber, the one Fred McMurray invented in a 1961 film. Well, Jody Benson will be happy I got this question right because she was in the 1997 film. What is flubber? So, Jody, I know you'll be happy I got that one right. <laughs> uh, movie trivia for 400, please. John Chancellor reportedly turned down the role in this 1976 film that won Peter Finch an Oscar. What is Network? This Mrs. Miniver star played Eleanor Roosevelt in the 1960 film Sunrise at Campobello. Who is Greer Garson? Chocolate for 300. Theobroma cacao, scientific name of the cacao tree, means that it's the food of these beings. Who are the gods? Chocolate for 400. Chocolate, garlic, and onions are three of the main ingredients in the spicy Mexican sauce. Ooh. Mole? Oh, yeah. Mole. A chocolate company is named for this legendary lady who graces its signature gold bulletins. Bulletins. Who is Lady Godiva? The Environment 100. Global warming caused by this effect could force the evacuation of some coastal lowlands. Oh, what is the greenhouse effect? Trees help humanity by absorbing this gas, but it's released to the atmosphere when they are burned. What is nitrogen? Not nitrogen. Carbon dioxide? That was another one of my guesses. It's okay. It's okay. These converters help reduce pollutants from automobile exhaust. Oh. Catalytic converters? That makes sense. The pH value of acid rain is equivalent to that of this common salad dressing ingredient. Oh. Vinegar, I was thinking that. Daily Double. And Willow's going to wager 500. Okay. She can risk up to that much. So that's how much she's going to wager on this clue in the environment. This type of garbage dump used for about 80% of U.S. waste often leaks toxic chemicals. A landfill? I think so. 1992. Okay. I was five years old that year. During one week in May, seven people died at climbing this Alaskan mountain. What is Mount McKinley? 1992 for 200. In July, this new Israeli prime minister went to Cairo to meet President Mubarak. Shimon? I don't think so. Perez? No. I'm just going to say who is gold in my ear. No, Yitzhak Rabin. 
After Slovakia's parliament declared sovereignty, he quit as president of Czechoslovakia. Vaclav Havel, I think so. Founded in 1779, the Elizabeth Daily Journal, this state's oldest newspaper, folded. New Jersey? That makes sense. A deadlock over how to close a $10.7 billion budget shortfall caused this state to issue IOUs. Oh. Washington? No way. If I were to buzz in and take a guess, I would say what is California? Holy cow, would have been right. Oh well, gee whiz. Often called by cold, this skin condition could be called waterfowl bumps. What are goose bumps? Goose pit bulls, they'll take it. These abandoned communities could be called spectra cities. What are ghost towns? Jubilant joy, or the kind of club that might sing about it. What is glee? A voracious eater, or someone with an enormous capacity for work or for punishment. What is a glutton? Some species of this rat, like rodent, a popular pet, are called jurds. What are gerbils? All right. $3,300 at the end of the Jeopardy round. Now on to double Jeopardy. All about animals. All right. Historic Henry's. Around the world. Oh, good. Geography. Art. Dwellings. We're going to close it out with authors. All right. All about animals, okay. Answer there. Answer there. Legend says that these apes, also known as orangs, can speak, but don't because people might put them to work. What are orangutans? All about animals, 400. Idaho's world center for birds of prey breeds the peregrine type of these and releases them into the wild. What are falcons? As you can tell from its name, the Java Sparrow is native to this country. What is Indonesia? All about animals, 800? In Latin America, this largest new world cat is called El Tigre. What is a jaguar? Yeah. All about animals, a thousand. One of these fish born in the Sargasso Sea lived to be 88 years old. Wow. Could it be a stingray? I don't think so. Is it an eel? Yep. Historic Henry's 200. After Livingstone's death, he continued to explore Africa and also served in Parliament. Who was, um... Who was David Henry? No, not David Henry. That wasn't his first name. Henry Morton Stanley. That's right. That's okay. It's okay. On his second voyage to find the Northeast Passage, two of his crew reported seeing a mermaid. This is for you, Jody Benson. Because of the word mermaid there. Who is Henry Hudson? Stark Henry 600. Though this great compromiser said he'd rather be right than he'd be president, he ran in several presidential elections. Who 
Who's Henry Clay? Stork Henry's 800. After losing his senator seat to JFK, he went on to serve as ambassador to the UN, South Vietnam, and West Germany. Who is Henry Kissinger? Not him. Cabot? I don't think so. I just said that. Henry Cabot Lodge Jr. He was the editor of a family farming journal before becoming vice president in 1941. Oof. Henry Wallace? Yep. Around the world. Goody. The largest mosque in this country is the Jama Masjid in Old Delhi. Masjid, however you say it. Either, say, either way, what is India? Around the world, 400. It's the official language of most of the central of the countries in Central America. Oh. English? No! It's the national language of Belize. But I'm going to say what is Spanish. That's more like it. Around the world, 600. Luxembourg isn't ruled by a king, but by a grand one of these. Prince? What's a duke? A grand duke? Yeah, there you go. It's more like it. Around the world, 800. In area, Morocco is about 10% larger than this West Coast state. About 10% larger than this West Coast state. What is California? Yeah, around the world, 1,000. The only double. The only player with any money right now, um, 2700 So put me at $10,000 if I get this clue right and around the world. The basic monetary units of this island group are the Guernsey Pound and the Jersey Pound. What are the British Virgin Islands? The Channel Islands, no. It's okay. Art 200. His Sistine Chapel painting of the Last Judgment was unveiled to the public Christmas Day, 1541. Who is Michelangelo? This art style of the 1920s was characterized by zigzag forms and the use of chrome and plastic. What is Art Deco? About 1527, Hans Holbein the Younger completed his portrait of this utopia author and his family. Who was Thomas More? The other daily double. Um, just gonna do 800. In 1595, he completed one of his few landscapes, View of Toledo. Who is El Greco? Yes! Art a thousand. This limerick writer who got his start as an artist gave painting lessons to Queen Victoria. Ooh. Could it be Edward Lear? Yes, it is. Dwellings 400. From the Latin meaning to come together, it's a home for nuns. What is a convent? Dwellings 200. Though usually associated with a snow house, this Eskimo word refers to other structures as well. What is an igloo? Dwellings 600. According to Guinness, with 1,788 rooms, the largest residential one belongs to the Sultan of Brunei. What is a palace? Dwellings 800. It's a building or group of buildings on an army base for housing soldiers. 
What is it? What are barracks? Army barracks, yeah. Dwelling's a thousand. This traditional Navajo home usually had eight sides and a domed roof. Oh. A Hogan? Okay. This author of Love Story was also a screenwriter for the movie Yellow Submarine. Uh, who is Eric Fromm? No, not him. Eric Siegel. It wasn't Eric, but I had the wrong one. Half of it's the time of your life, author's ashes were interred in California and half in Armenia. No, no, don't think so. A vacant. I don't even know who that is. William Saroyan? Oh, okay. This author of Rich Man, Poor Man began by writing Andy Gump and Dick Tracy on radio. Rich Man, Poor Man. I don't have any idea. Could it be Erwin Shaw? Yes, it is. Okay. Pure Woman Faithfully Presented is the subtitle of his Tess of the D'Urbervilles. Who was um, Christopher Marlowe? No way. Thomas Hardy? Oh, yeah. All right. Those scenes of in hu of human bondage indicate he wasn't happy at school. He's buried at his. Who is William Somerset Maugham? Yay! Gods and goddesses. Ooh. I'll wager one thousand four hundred one dollars, and even if I'm wrong, I still win. Augustus Caesar encouraged the worship of this god, who was considered the avenger of Julius Caesar. I'm just going to say who is Mars, but I really don't know. What? I, I got it right? I just took a guess on that. How did I come up with that? Everybody got it right. So I know I'm going to end up with $10,001, and I'll see you all for that next game after the break. I cannot believe it. Yep, so I'm the winner with $10,001. I am a winner.